Kyle Pitts? Yes. That, yeah, the Florida kid. Downfield for Curley. Makes the catch. Jordan Curley, he's got speed. He can stretch the field. And he picks up 42 on the play. The give is to Knighton. Charging forward. And into the end zone for an SMU touchdown. 90-yard drive, though it was helped with some penalty yardage. They found the formula under Sonny Dykes. Get kids to come back to Dallas if they've gone elsewhere. Design QB run. Maryland with a great block. And Spring Stone inside the 20. A Baker's dozen and a first down. I'll tell you how I know that a little bit later in the show. And this one to the end zone. And caught for a touchdown. It's Jordan Hudson. What a throw. Just trusting it. And Hudson, they love to throw back shoulder, throws him, fades, 6'1", 182 pounds. He just climbs the ladder. RJ Maryland playing that H-back role. Brinson with orbit motion. Stone rolls out, throwing into the end zone, and it's caught by Maryland for the touchdown. 20 to nothing, SMU. Hard to miss, 6'4", 235. And he's just an, an absolute delight to throw to. Now inside the 40 of SMU, right? The motion man. Patterson rolling right. Throws back across. Complete inside the 20-yard line. Welcome back, Ian Stewart. Stewart lined up in the slot. Patterson, little show and tell. Scampers out of bounds after a nice pickup. Gonna be close to the marker. Two tight ends. Patterson in trouble and submerged. So Temple had first and goal inside the two, and the drive ends with a turnover on downs at the 11 yard line. Goes back great. Yeah. That has got to be disappointing. Stone lets it fly down the seam. Brinson brings it in. On third down, here's the blitz. Stone underneath, completes. It's Hudson. Gets past one man. He's got a first down. And Turbo's inside the 30. Jordan Hudson, dangerous in space. Six for 10 on the season. Rodgers has a strong leg, shows it off. And as the clock hits triple zeros, SMU takes a 24-0 lead going into halftime. That give you pause as a quarterback when throwing to a certain receiver? You just got to keep, keep throwing. And you start out talking to him at some point. Oh, boy. There's Daniels. Down the sideline. House call. About a 67-yard punt return touchdown for Roderick Daniels. And that's going to help that average a little bit. A couple of great moves, though. And then it's just speed, setting up blockers. Nice job there. You can dream on them in a couple of years. Now, who knows? Here's LJ Johnson. And just cleaving this defense all the way into the secondary to the 25. Now the flip side of that. Johnson remains in the game as the running back. Stone keeps it. Has the defense fooled. Needs one block. Or maybe he doesn't. Touchdown, Preston Stone. Well, he had the entire Temple defense fooled and went with a running back one way. It went with Johnson one way, and he can essentially walk to the end zone. It wasn't until a secondary player saw him and then changed course to try to get him out of bounds. That was McMurray back in the game. A 37-yarder. Temple looking to get on the board. 
And it has been that kind of evening for the Temple Owls. I think this team is, is playing with their hair on fire, and I, and I think all the, the controversy that surrounds the team, Harbaugh missing the first three games. Now they're talking about stealing signs. I, I think they're gonna, it's going to galvanize them. They're gonna, it's going to be them against the world. I do think they will face Oklahoma again in the Big 12 championship. Great throw there. There's nice Hudson. Throw. And it sets up a first down and goal for SMU. When you get an opportunity to go in and play an entire quarter, you're not going to go sit in on it or sit down on it, you know, run plates. And Hudson will jog it into the end zone. Jet motion, pop pass, touchdown, SMU. SMU's got a lot of backups in there. They're still getting after it. And that's intercepted. Picked off by Chris Adamora. And the Mustangs take over in Temple territory. Man, Temple still has some starters in there. Jennings will keep it. In for a touchdown. Adam Moore, the tight end, sealed the left side with a nice block. Jennings is in for a score. Final score from the link. The Mustangs roll the Owls 55 to nothing. We'll see you next week for FAU and Charlotte.